Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be drawing a groundhog popping out of the ground to see if its shadow is around. So, <laughs> of course, the groundhog gets very scared of its shadow. So we're gonna illustrate the shadow in a rather spooky way. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and join me as we create some lovely and slightly unusual Groundhog Day artwork. Let's make some art. So we're gonna grab something to draw with and we're gonna draw a lovely groundhog coming out uh, to check on its shadow. So here we go, we're gonna draw our groundhog over here and our shadow hiding over on this side. So we're gonna start off by drawing a partial circle at the bottom. So notice how I foreshortened it. So. I made the top of the circle. If you imagine that this line continued, it'd be like an oval, but a very shallow oval. I brought it all around and then up and I've ended it. Okay, and now I'm gonna turn this into the hole that the groundhog is popping out of. So I'm gonna draw the ground coming down on either side. Nice wavy lines coming down for some ground texture. Or Mr. or Ms. or Mix Groundhogs popping up here. Perfect. Groundhog hole. Done. All right, let's do Groundhog. Okay, let's start off with the nose. We're going to do one straight line. And then we're going to turn that line into a bubble letter T kind of shape. I like to color in part of the sides to make my nostrils. And then I'm gonna do one little line down. I'm gonna go out around and connect to the top of the nose on one side, out around, whoa, connect to the top of the nose on the other side. Now I have a bit of an adjustment to do, so I'm just gonna adjust my lines to blend it in a little bit better. And then from there, I'm gonna draw one straight line down on either side for some teeth. All right, straight line in, straight line in. Then we're gonna go up and down. And now I got a really big set of teeth at the bottom there. All right, beside the uh, cheeks, we're gonna do one circle on one side, one circle on the other. In each circle, we're gonna draw one big circle and another circle below. So the circle below, we're gonna color in dark, so that way it is the pupil for our groundhog. And now we're ready to do the rest of the body. So we're gonna do a couple little tiny groundhog ears. In each ear, we're gonna add another little curving line to make the inner ear. And now we're gonna zigzag up towards the middle on each side to make the forehead. And then we're just gonna zigzag all the way down, oops, wrong way, into the hole. Perfect. Okay, color in the hole dark, leaving the top edge white. So I just like to go like this. I like to give it a nice little white edge along the top. Boom! Now it looks like it's popping out of the hole. The hole has some depth. All right, groundhog, your shadow. Two big ears. It's scared of its shadow, so we gotta make the shadow scary. <laughs> All right, scary forehead hair. Lots of sharp lines here, my friends. Okay, we're gonna have one big paw going up on one side and coming down with some scary looking claws. Because of course, our groundhog is scared of its shadow. So we're gonna make it look scary. Okay, and then we're gonna bring it down. And it's a shadow, so we gotta 
make it look like it's leading towards our friend over here who doesn't know its shadow's there yet. It might pop back in and go back to sleep until the shadow's gone. <laughs> All right, connect the scary shadow arms to the scary shadow ears. And then you can add any sort of other details you want to add to your shadow to make it extra terrifying. I'm gonna add some triangular eyes, kind of like Halloween. I'm gonna add some teeth on here too, I think. Oh yeah. Now it looks like a jack-o'-lantern scary shadow. Perfect! There we go. I'm gonna borrow some Halloween styling for this. Continue that flavor. Wonderful! Okay, we got a shadow. Now, I do need a ground. So where the shadow is bent, I'm gonna just draw a nice little horizon line here. And voila, it's a groundhog. Seeing its shadow. <laughs> All right, do, 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 we need a brown. There's a brown. All right, so once you're done, ooh, this is not. So once you're done drawing, Groundhog. You can go ahead and color it in. With your choice of art making mediums and colors.
once you're done coloring in your groundhog, your lovely Groundhog Day artwork is done. Hi there, thank you so much for watching the art lesson. Now let's dive into some more ways that you can explore Ms. Artastic art lessons. So this is another way you can explore Artastic lessons. So one, make sure that you go and find me on Instagram and TikTok. I am artastic.kids and please follow me, check it out. You'll find lots of different ways to grab art lessons and you'll also find out when new art lessons are dropped to YouTube and other places such as the blog. Next, you can go to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. Make sure that you become a subscriber because my friend, this is where I post a ton of weekly art drawing tutorials or art lessons for you to explore for free at home or in a classroom. And finally, make sure you go to artastickids.com. This is an essential place to go if you are someone if you're a kid looking to create art or if you're a homeschool parent or if you're just a parent or guardian looking to find art lessons for your kids to allow them to become creative, to prevent the whole let's get started um, at the kitchen table and they are not really wanting to create with their parent, don't worry because I will guide them through the art lessons and I will prevent them from getting stuck at the blank page. I know that is a huge struggle. So check it out, artastickids.com. There you'll find a blog full of free different art lessons, art lesson activity ideas, seasonal art ideas, and so much more, as well as my membership, which is my collection of art lessons online. It is an online streaming art lesson platform for families, homeschool, or classrooms, and you will be able to allow your child to um, stimulate their creative thinking and critical thinking skills, build on their motor skills, as well as they get to enjoy five new art lessons added every single month to the membership every single month. It is a growing art resource library. So you'll get hundreds of art lessons and then every single month, five new ones are added. And it, there are lots of sneak peek preview videos. So make sure you go to artastickids.com, hit the get started button, and I will see you in the membership enjoying new art lessons added every single month.